<laughs> so this is our little friend Mo. He's got his pirate costume on. <laughs> best thing I've done ever. Hi guys, so this vlog today is a behind the scenes of when we filmed um, making these DIY dog costumes. If you've seen the DIY dog costumes video, it's super cute. If you haven't seen the actual video we're talking about, it'll be here, you can click on it and go watch it, it's so cute. You should watch that first and then you can see how we made all the costumes with our behind the, sorry my knee is like in my face, <laughs> with our behind the scenes uh, footage. We didn't really want to explain how to make every single costume in the actual video. We wanted it to be more of like a cute little fun shareable video. Mm -hmm. But I know some of you probably would actually want to know how to make them like for real. So that's what this vlog is for. For real, for real. For real, for real. So we hope you guys like this behind the scenes footage. We're in our favorite place, <laughs> Dollarama. We love doing things on the low low. On the low low, the low, the, low budget. The cheap low low. <laughs> we're getting stuff for our puppy Halloween costume DIYs. Sorry, we're both sick so. Just ignore that disclaimer, um, and we're gonna take you guys along with us while we dress up some puppies in DIY costumes. I hope you enjoy. So this is Clive, our friend Alana's corgi, and he's so cute. Oh, you're, you're a goddess oh. in the sun. <laughs> Hi, Alana. He's gonna help us make things. He's very into it. What is it? You want your lightsaber? <laughs> Clive, come look at me. Clive, Clive. Oh, he's so cute. Hi. <laughs> so we just made this headband out of green foam with some Velcro and then cut some ear shapes out and now we're gonna glue on the ears. So we have the ears on the headband now. We just pinched them and put some fuzz in between and hot glued them on. Clive, are you ready? <laughs> Clive, are you ready? <laughs> All right, so we're having Clyde, <laughs> Clive just stand on um, this piece of tan fabric that we bought. And we're gonna cut out leg holes big enough for his front paws to go through. He does not want to cooperate. <laughs> so cute. And this will basically be the <laughs> the base of our Yoda cape. Clive, I have to measure your legs for your for your sleeves. How big are your little legs? Yep, yeah, not very big. That's what I thought. Okay. So this is what Clive's robe looks like. Clive's gonna show you. <laughs> It's a big piece with two holes in it for his <laughs> legs. Okay, this is not working. I'll, sh I'll show them later. So I just hot glued together these little tubes, which are gonna be the legs, and then I cut slits in them so that when you put it through, we can glue the slits down to the opening. For Clive's robe, we just cut these holes and made little tubes. And on the back side, you can see we just kind of split it open and did some hot glue to Attach it. Are you ready to put this on, Clive? Say yes. All right, so this is what Clive's finished costume looks like. He's gonna tell you. So these were his armholes. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, he hates it now. He hates this costume. Those are his armholes. And then we wrapped the rope around him and used this piece of cloth to tie it up. And then we just added these ears on top of his face. And we got this glow stick from the dollar store and it's like a lightsaber, so it's amazing. Okay. Oh no, not the phone. And he loved it, didn't he, Clive? Now we're at where I used to do a lot of freelance work. Um, there are puppies at this office, so I asked if we could come and film with the, some of them. So we're making Biggie into a dino and Mo into a pirate. So for the pirate, um, we're gonna be making this peg leg because he actually is missing a leg. So we're gonna be making a peg leg out of brown foam. All right, so to make our pirate's hat for our dog costume, we're kind of cutting out this shape into some black foam, which will be used to make our pirate hat. <laughs> All right, so here's our little peg leg. And if you don't have a three-legged dog, you could just make it big enough to fit over <laughs> your own dog's leg. Um, and now I'm just gonna draw some wood grain kind of texture on it so it looks more like real wood. And the hat's coming along nice. <laughs> He's got little dog bones on it. It's so cute. So cute. And here is our wooden leg. <laughs> and I just finished the hat. We just glued the two sides together with an elastic band. And it'll fit on Mo's little yeah. head. Oh, it's gonna be so cute. So I'm here with our little friend Butler. Say hi. <laughs> 
Oh, he's so cute. And we're gonna turn him into a little pirate buddy. <laughs> he's gonna be our pirate's like right hand man, assistant Smee guy. So we're gonna take a little butler here. Oh, bye. He doesn't wanna behave. But we need to figure out where to put his little leg holes. <laughs> so this is our little friend Mo. He's got his pirate costume on. <laughs> This is the best thing I've done ever. Oh, they're so cute. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh Oh So we gave him just a bandana made out of the rest of the t-shirt. And yeah. Oh, hi. Are you getting into trees? Yeah. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Alright guys, so it's dino time. We're doing a little uh, triceratops kind of horn hat for Viggy, who is our French Bulldog. We started by cutting out this kind of wonky shape that's gonna be like the top of the hat. It's kind of looks like this. Don't know how else to describe it. Just added two little holes where his ears are gonna pop through. We're gonna cover it in our dino fabric. Yeah! What a crazy Sit. day! Sit! Fitting Viggy for his costume. <laughs> guys, and look at this already. It's looking so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh, she looks like a little warrior, like, like a little Thor. Soldier. Oh my goodness. And then I'm just making three horns by cutting out uh, two pieces of fabric and I'm gonna glue them together, flip them inside out, and then stuff them. All right, next we cut out this kind of half cloud-shaped um, shape out of the foam and we added these little cutouts so we can bend it nicely and this is gonna go on top of our headpiece. But we gotta cover this in our dino fabric first. All right, so we just threw an elastic under this one so it'll stay on his head. And Biggie already found the dog bone that we have for him for later as a prop, and he's very sad that he can't have it. Biggie, Biggie, are you sad, Biggie? Oh my goodness! All he is is staring at the dog bone. It's coming, I promise. Okay, so we put an elastic under this one piece so it'll stay on his head, and we have this second piece as well covered in dino fabric. So we're just gonna attach them by gluing down the middle onto the middle of this and wrapping it around. This is what our little horn looks like once it's all stuffed and um, Biggie, I think you should just be a unicorn instead. <laughs> Key. Okay, my little hornsies are stuffed. I have two of them done. Now he's just finishing Pretty much done. the headpiece. And then we'll glue these puppies on. We're just making them with hot glue and foam and fabric, guys. And Biggie is ready. You ready, Biggie? over it. <laughs> so this is what our final headpiece looks like. Ah. It's just a big piece at the back so that it can sit on his forehead and then our little hornsies out to the side. And Biggie really wants a bone that's up there. Biggie, no. So we're done four dogs. So we're gonna go to our fifth one right now. Yeah. It's been a long day. We're both still sick, but um, we're excited to see how this last one turns out. It's a cute little pug. I'm so excited. Pugs are so happy. Pugs are the best. So we're at our last dog's house of the day, and it's a little pug named Lily, and we're so excited because she's so cute. And we're turning her into a chia pet, or a chia pug. Chia pug. Chia pug. So you saw our green fabric from earlier, and we're just cutting two little leg holes in it that'll go around her. And then we're going to add, add the Velcro in. Add the Velcro. Mm -hmm. Alright, so here's our little puggy bodysuit, and I've <laughs> wrapped it in my purse. It's like a makeshift, makeshift, make, what's the word? Makeshift. makeshift. Oh my goodness, pug for now. Um, there's a the little leg holes, and we're just wrapping the whole thing in this fake bush from the dollar store. <laughs> and I'm making legs out of a clay colored fabric for the pot. So we've covered the whole thing in this plant, plastic plant. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're just, uh, Sticking the little leggies through and gluing them on the inside. So funny. <laughs> Alright, and then for the back legs, we're not doing any leg holes just because um, it doesn't line up like that. So we're just having the suit kind of end and then we're just attaching the back legs just on the sides there and she'll just step into them. Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> 
Those are the front. That's the front of it. Wait, where is it? Right here. Oh, okay. <laughs> These are the front legs, and then back here, are the little back legs. <laughs> All right, so this is it from the front and on the inside. <laughs> and now we're going to put Lily in it. Say hi, Lily. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah, right. So decided this side first, right? Okay. So I think we should do back and front, maybe. Oh yeah, yeah. At the same time. Okay. One. Lily. Oh. Lily. Are you a chia pug? Are you a chia pug? Hi. Oh my god. Hi. It's so good when she walks around. <laughs> Can you look copper pot legs? <laughs> guys liked that and you learned how to make some of these dog costumes and please please send us pictures if you do make any of these for your dogs because there's one thing I can't get enough of and it's cute puppies especially in costumes <laughs> yes and shout out to all of our friends that let us use their dogs um, you guys are great and we love working with your puppies and we want to come visit them ASAP again. yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right thank you guys for watching and we will see you in the next one bye, bye.